Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome back to Watcher of Realms. We have the 2x event going on right now for Watcher of Realms. The best time to summon, I would say, for brand new players out there since the odds now become double to what they are. And you will see them. They go to 0.92%. Especially for brand new, th these are the weekends you want to be uh, pushing for and trying to get something. But remember, guys, to always check on the events tab right here. Always check on the events time because here, especially, you'll see there's an ancient summoning event starting tomorrow for this champion right here. Morrigan is a lord. There's going to be 10x for her. She is a fantastic, fantastic lord hero mage. And if you need one, then the odds for her will be 10x if you do happen to summon a lord. But the lord chances are extremely low. 0.08% if I remember correctly. Now, when we have the... Um, the 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 2x so when it's not a 2x it's 0.04% extremely low chances overall to get a lord that's that's how rare they are but uh that being said me myself i have her already so i'll be pulling some um some summons today and hopefully i'll get something that is worth it i have 29 summons and then i've got some gems Hopefully these will be enough for me to pick up maybe one or two legendaries, but let's get started with the summons I do have some big summons as well. I might pull those in the end. I might keep them I'm not sure yet. I want to want to be keeping those since I've got gems available So I might as well start with these Hoping to do maybe one or two legendaries. I can't remember my pity. I think I've hit it very very recently so um, we're just going in blind. I've done already 1,480 summons into the account. And I've got a good amount of legendaries already. So it's not like I need something specifically, but you want to summon in this game and you want to get something good. So that's that's the whole theme for today's video. Summon and hopefully get something good. Uh, we get Mary. Okay, that's going to be an Awakening 3, I believe, for, uh, for the account. Not bad. Awakening... Or is it Awakening 4? I'll get her. Um, just a, a rare tax here. We got some cutters. That's all right. I'm gonna hop on to the gems now. Okay. Start to get uh, expensive now, but we'll see. There we go. Titus. I think I've got him at an A3. So not not such a great epic. He has a very high cost requirement. Like a tremendous cost requirement, 31 for a tank is, is huge. Like by the time you're able to drop him down, the the fight is going to be over. So I think that is one of the epics that needs a, a rework maybe on, on the cost. So another, another rare pulls only. So let's see. Let's see. Are we going to hit gold here? Come on. No. Uh, it's another epic pull. Okay. When I pick Lily, I think I've got her High Awakening Novras, and that, that's a good one uh, for the Esotericists and the Nightmares. So that's going to be an Awakening, basically, for me. And then, oh, Epic. Okay, another Epic. It's good to get the Epics. The Epics actually give you the Awakenings, and those can be really strong. Laurel, I needed her uh, Awakening. She is a fantastic Epic. And the reason for that is basically her talent. Increases Rage Region by one additionally upon death. Provides surrounding allies with a restoration of 50% of the rage cap upon death. That is why she's so, so good. Uh, but let's uh, keep on pulling. Okay, uh, that, this is just an absolute rare fest. Okay, we were at 1480, right? When I started. 1480, and now I'm looking at 1550. So... Not even a hundred summons. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's promising now. Oh, oh, oh. No. Epic. Alright. We don't get a gold glow. It's not it's not what we we're looking for. Okay, Lightlock. I think I have him at Awakening 5 already. Um Lightlock got nerfed, by the way. He was used a lot for pushing in gear raid one. But uh let's see. Laurel, again, that's nice. Okay, since I needed her. It's not a bad one. And Osiren, a brand new one. So you see these animations when you get a brand new one. And you can also click share. It doesn't actually share it anywhere. And uh, you get a, a nice 50 gem back. Okay, Laurel and Osiren. Osiren, I'm definitely not going to use him. Laurel, though, two Awakenings. That is good. I think that's enough to get her to Awakening 5 for my account. Which is, um, which is 
which is good. Which is good. I mean, I wanted her awakening fire. I, th I think she gives 80 rage instead now on her highest awakening. So much, much stronger. She goes very well with Volka. So that Volka is the hero that you get from uh, finishing off the missions. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Actually, it's very bad. Because um, I'm like so many gems in. And where's the legendary? I'm going to hit pity. Ah, this is going to be horrible. Okay, we got AI. All right. Uh, that's going to be another awakening. Come on. This, this took so many summons. And we still haven't hit a Lego. There it is. Finally one Lego. Okay. All right. What is it going to be? game what is it gonna be show me something good and that was the last one all right oh oh yes silly too nice yes 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 there we go finally 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 a very solid fighter i have so many fighters right now i don't know what to do with them but silly too is an amazing fighter she works very very well for the guild boss and i don't know who to focus on right now i have so many different heroes that my um, my guild boss team, I, I need to change my focus on. But so happy about that summon. Zilly 2, definitely a very solid burst fighter. Uh, she does magic damage as well. So if you have a look at her uh, base attack, attacks by enemy, including airborne units, so she can attack further away. Block targets take 20% more damage. So if they go to her, they take 20% more damage. So uh, her ultimate, when triggered, deals 300% extra damage in a larger range for 25 seconds, including burning. So burning does 20% of magic damage per second. Uh, the effect duration is increased for every kill during the skill. Very nice. And then she also has each attack will deal additional true damage by 40% attack to the target above 80% health. And then charges energy after three seconds of not dealing damage increases damage by five percent per second up to 25 percent the charge energy will be consumed in one second and the damage increase will end so so good uh, her awakenings are also very good if i remember correctly um but obviously those are not for me okay so i'll do a few more but i do want to keep my gems because i do like i do like um to farm so i need my gems to farm but i also like to do summon so we'll see <laughs> we'll see we'll see i want to hit like two legos maybe two legos but we already hit one uh well now it's 20 summons ago so we hit one around the 100 mark didn't we so i was at 16 10. Yeah, it was a hundred and thirty summons in. I hit, I hit one. So, um, okay, we are out of uh, out of room. Let's feed in some three star heroes. How much is that? A thousand eight hundred gems. Okay, nice. Thousand eight hundred gems. I I like that. Let's do some quick star ups. That's gonna be good since we have an event right now. Corridor of Glory. I need all that XP going in there. Clearing up some room, very quick, very nice. That's what I love about this game, so quickly to level up your heroes so you can get to the actual gameplay and not just play, you know, XP farming. Yes, there we go, so quickly with the second leg. I'm so happy, so happy, so happy. Okay, there we go, Muriel. And the final one, it's, it's a new one, it's a new one. Which one is it though? I have no idea. Oh, Nocturne. Okay, it's an awakening one. I have Nocturne already, guys. Uh, but it, not bad. Nocturne is a very, very strong champion hero. Does true damage. And he is a beast once you gear him up correctly. And honestly, myself, I haven't geared him up correctly just yet. I have so many different heroes that I, I try things out. I do have him with some good gear, though. Still for, for the guild boss. And he does show his, his true power in there. So... Yeah, there it is. The Awakening one on Nocturne. And uh, what was that summon? 1640. On 1640, two, two legendaries today. Very nice. Let's do the, the singles. How many am I going to pull? I think I'm going to pull a few more since I'm at 
16,000 gems still. All right, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. And, okay, an epic. Oh, no. <laughs> Again, let's see. Oh, my God. All right. Komodo, Wrath. Okay. And what is this one? Comet. Oh, a very strong mage. Non dupe again, oh, so many things to work on. So I've got Kamet, I've got Zilla 2 to work on for today. Very, very nice. Kamet is extremely, extremely good. Has a very strong attacks. Didn't even know you can summon Wrath. Cause he's a Lord also, but um, I actually have mine at A5. So this will be actually, he, he'll be actually sold. Oh, so sad. Kamet is so good. Obliteration Strike deals 400% extra high damage to enemies who have not been attacked. Je Jesus. Insane. Each attack deals 320% AoE magic damage, I'm guessing he's doing. Yeah. Every 7 attacks applies Curse to the enemy target. And then upon killing a target, this hero's attack will bounce off to 2 enemy targets. It's just a monster for AoE. AoE burst. Just a monster. So I've got Kamat Zilla 2 now. Um, I, I, I got Nocturne, so three, three Legos so far. Very good. Very good. And two of them are non dupes so... Interesting. The dupes also are not bad at this game. It's not bad, because you get something back from awakening them. You get a stronger legendary. And you also get the, uh, the food hero, so you can get your other heroes quicker to the max, maximum rank. So, let's see. Just rares. This one was just rares, right? Just rares. Let's do... I think two more. Get an epic. We get Baron. I think that's an A4 Baron now. Awakening 4. That's what it means. I say A4. And... Okay, epic. Alright. Totally fine with that. Ardeath. Esotericist. I'll get his Awakening higher. Some of the rares I do have already, but I have them awakened up, like Voltus and, and some others. So this is the final one, guys, final one. Regardless of what comes, I think this was a very, very solid summoning session. It's an epic. Uh, I, I'm done. I'm going to stay at 10,000 gems because I need those for just, just farming. 10,000. Very, very good. Uh, look at that. We get some Mythic Extract. And I'm at 1,712 summons. Not, not bad. Three new, th three legendary heroes. Two of them new. Happy about that. Um, there we go. Zilla 2 and Kamet will definitely be leveled up. I had Nyx. Very recently I got her. Barely, barely she has any gear. Nocturne right there. What do I get from my Nocturne there? I think I get... I think I get some, something good. Impure Wings duration plus five seconds. Okay. Extra five seconds. This awakening is really um, getting boosted uh, as as you awaken Nocturne. That that really gets boosted up. Okay, interesting. There we go. We get some psychic power and then two brand new heroes to work on. Oh my god, I've got a lot of things to do. Uh, this was the summoning session, guys. I'm rank one in my group. How many points was that? Five thousand four hundred forty-five. I don't know if, if I'm going to stay there, but pretty cool. Let's uh, claim these rewards. I get one Ancient Summoning Crystal. We can't summon those yet. It's going to be a while. In terms of the ultimate leaderboard, just have a look at who's number one. L look at that. 50,000. There's Deeks. I know that guy from Raid. Um, do I know anybody else from Raid? No idea. Maybe they just haven't woken up. Like the Americans haven't woken up yet. But... This was it, guys, for this video. This was my big summoning session. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.